Hello friends and hello students. My name is Ashok Sayal. In this session, we learn the series programming in C language. So first, I share my laptop screen and fix the position here so you can watch better way my video lecture. And here, Turbo C++, I double click and take some process. And now yes, is open a draft file menu, taking new file and here our goal write a program to print sum and series as following. So yes, here we can print the sum and that series. So print the sum of Yes, or print sum and series as following. So we can print series also in that example. So previously I cannot print, but you have to print very easily. So let us check and which series. So here we can take as a even series. So X, I in previous my video lecture, I take as odd series. Now I can take is uh, even series. So that is a X, that is zero upon and divide by uh, zero factorial yes that is a terms one terms yes we have to solve and now that minus so positive negative that logic we can also use and x upon two directly even and then two factorial so yes two and then plus so x upon directly we can say that uh, four and divide by four factorial and then minus so x upon six and divide by six factorial so that is a continuous x now n factorial upon an n factorial so that type of capital n so that number of n that is continuous so let us check one example so First, uh, we have to take that series like uh, we have to assumption as uh, first two terms. So x equal to two, we have to assumption and n equal to two. So n equal to also n means number of terms and x is fix our two value. So two upon uh, zero factorial, uh, zero upon and zero factorial. So divide by zero factorial and then minus uh, sign and two x is two upon two and divide by uh, two factorial and yes first two terms only so now here we can solve so uh, two upon zero so that is a one and maths rule zero factorial is also one so that is a one now minus sign and two rest to Two, so that is a four to so multiply two and divide by two so that we can say that uh, I here I so one minus four divided by uh, two so two and that one minus two so that answer is minus one so that is our answer first two terms and now let us consider uh, first three terms so here we can assumption that is x is two but n is three terms so n is number of three terms so let us check that is same uh, two upon zero factorial and then zero uh, upon zero and zero factorial then minus two upon two and divide by two factorial and then again plus sign so x is 2 upon 4 and divide by 4 factorial so what is the answer so first two term we have to already calculate so 1 minus 2 yes that is we have to already calculate and now plus and 2 raised to 4 so 2 multiply 4 4 multiply 2 8 and 8 multiply 2 so that is we can say that 16 yes and divide by four factorials so 2 30 12 12 2 are 24 and 22 multiply 1 so 24 yes and 
that now we can solve. So one minus two plus we can say that sixteen uh, divided by so zero point sixty seven that type of and now we can that is two one that is yes uh, minus two and plus positive value one point sixty seven so that is a round figure minus zero point three just that type of t term answer is there so and two terms we can say that only minus one and that is a four term you have to consider so that is a very low answer because that is here 16 2 raised to 16 and divide by 16 factorial so we cannot uh, only taking two example so you can also take uh, four term paperwork so that is a some student not understand what is a paperwork so you can first uh, as manually work that type that is known as paperwork and now we can implement uh, you know, our coding or program of C language. So now here I include the header file, yes, stdio.h and then on your console input output.h and void main we have to take, that is our main function. And now we have to clear some variable. So that is a i, j, yes, uh, x variable we have to take. Uh, that is a factorial we have to find so m number of term n yes and factorial itself so that is a all variable we have to declare and float that is a we have to take as sum so that is a assign 0, 0.0 so that is a float value and then clear the screen l r s c r clear the screen and first we can take uh, our number of terms so enter number of terms yes and that type we can scan the n variable so percentage p and m person n and then copy and paste so that is a we can say that enter x value so we can scan x and then taking for loop so yes i we have to start uh, upon that is and factorial that is a uh, we have to take i variable so i is initialized zero here so and i less than or not equal to because uh, starting in uh, that is our uh, loop is zero so we cannot equal to but n less i less than n and i plus equal to directly two jump so zero then two because that is a even uh, series so that is a upon is even and factorial is also even so here how we can take as positive and negative that is a depend the sequence even odd logic so here that directly series start is a even number and our requirement of positive negative is a depend on the uh, first term is a positive and second term is negative so we can say that even odd number so that is a we can take as j so one for loop taking two work as so you have to know advanced feature of for loop so j we have to start one and j plus plus so that is a we can take as positive and negative uh, that depend upon logic and that we have to sign bit of taking the j variable module and even odd but our series is even, yes. And now we can take first our division part means factorial. So factorial we have to consider and that we can take M assigned to I. Yes, that we have to use M variable. So because we have to take and factorial, yes, fact always assigned to one. So here at the zero, one not that is sequence series is not there so we cannot take as factorial directly but here we can for loop inside taking as a while loop so m is greater than zero and factorial equal to factorial yes and that is multiply m and minus minus both at the same side so first priority is a multiplication operation and then m minus minus so our factorial is perfectly count now we can take even odd logic so j modulo 2 equal to 0 
so first term that is a uh, we can say that terms in even odd that our series is even but our terms that is first term and second term that is a minus sign b so that is we have to take as minus uh, so that is a modulo and sum so sum here we can take as plus equal to and that is power function we have to use and divide by factorial fx factorial factorial we have to count and x upon i and same in else part so that is a just here that is not a phi this phi blank space so that is jump directly one so that is some here only two so yes now yes so here how to set here here tab is not uh, directly first two and then five so here one option is there in alter o yes and here our editor environment and that editor and here you can look tab setting is directly size is eight yes how to set the tab size to any editor so i can also cover that point so pi tab size so five blank space we can press the tab key so now i can press okay and now let us check so i can uh, take this statement to exactly why yes here and now i give the tab yes now that five so that is a setting yes now perfectly look and now same sum minus equal to i think you have to know very well so that is a compound uh, statement and what is a full form i can write for you so x upon i so what is a full form so one i can write so sum equal to sum yes and that is a plus and then power function we have to use so that is a x upon i and divide by factorial so power function required the maths library yes here we can take as a math dot h header file so that is a we can say that that library or uh, header file so that is a power is a math function you have to know very well so yes first uh, uh, yes here there is i remove the blank and we can print the sum after here after the for loop so we can say that uh, slash and uh, because we have to also print the series but first print the answer and then we can print so dot two f float and sum so sum value is a print and now here get ch and i save that file f2 press function f2 and c is and we can say that even number so that is a maximum eight character yes even that is a four and underscore that is a eight character yes so that series is already named so we can give some different names so name is already there so we can say that uh, positive negative yes that is also possibility so number type yes number series dot c yes and even or odd yes that save no, any name that type of so let us first i compile yes so all are well let us check so all variable we have to use i yes a, x x we have to scan n n is our uh, number of term count m used for factorial found here while loop taking fact is also used in that while loop j we have to use in the uh, our plus minus uh, negative positive terms and this all sum we have to print so all variable we have to use no any extra variable in that term logic so i compile yes uh, there is no any error yes so good we have to take in perfectly our yes uh, requirement so first we can uh, give the two term answer yes that minus one so i compile yes and run so give the two terms and x is also two uh, two because we have two assumption so yes so minus that perfectly or minus one point zero that is minus sign yes that perfectly look here our first answer so that is a float value here i give the positive it's uh, no float value so here our sum is a uh, that is a 
plot variable so that is a perfect link and now you can print also series yes that is a remaining so how to print the series so yes here we can take as a printf function and that is our percent hd and then upon sign in the computer there is no any upon in like word we have to super fix so that is a, a one uh, like five s to two so that is a up super script and subscript that is a use in mathematical symbol in word excel that powerpoint so here we can that upon sign is possibility and that is percentage again d and divide by also percentage d so what is we have to print so first percentage d that is our x variable yes in terms and comma that is upon that is a we can say that uh, our i variable yes and divide by also i variable and that is a here we can say that positive plus sign yes so that is a now two statements so if condition also requires the opening and closing press i copy that line and pass to here and else part also taking opening and closing press yes so we can sum also print and series also print so minus sign in that else part so yes that i think perfectly print so let us check i compile there is no any error and now we can provide three terms we can also paper work of three terms and two so yes that series is i think perfectly print so x upon zero factorial and that is a yes we can also take as a factorial sign and one blank so here one blank and here one blank and after that divide here we can take as a factorial yes but uh, here you can look our answer is wrong one positive so why that is what is the reason so here you can look uh, our uh, that is a type casting problem because here that sum only one factorial and here our uh, right hand part all are integer variable so that is a type casting problem so yes i can get that what is a problem so here we can take some and you can also take as a watch window so you can that exactly understand what is a problem so i can get in my experience that is i can judgment that is a problem of type casting because here left hand side all are integer and sum only is a float variable so whenever that type of situation you consider as a one type casting here we can take as a plot so let us check if not giving proper answer so we can also take as a watch window so i can save compile now let us check so three terms and two so yes that is also not perfectly our answer because 1.00 so yes, our series is perfectly print. Yes, all are well. So sign bit is there. But yes, here that first is minus. Yes, and then positive. Yes, that is also taking x value. Yes, so first term is our positive. So why that yes here even odd logic. So that is a j is one. Yes, and that is a why giving the minus sign first is okay so here that is a j is one so that is a minus so our first is a positive terms yes so here uh, we have to take as minus in yes one number is minus sign bit and here that is a positive sign so that is i can take yes here we can take as a minus sign and here positive sign yes that is also yes let us check now that perfectly so first i took two terms and two x so yes that is a perfectly but uh, one term why that is print so yes here our, yes uh, here yes and is we have to uh, only that is directly i plus two jump so here we can 
multiply two, so that number of term over print and that perfect answer. So that is also or now let us check. So yes, now that two terms is perfectly print and first is positive, all are well. So how do I can done? So here uh, that is a n multiply two because here i starting zero and directly jump to i equal to i plus so that is a compound so i equal to i plus two so that is a compound short technique so here when i equal to zero we have to take n is two but i directly to a not equal sign so only consider as a one term so that is our wrong answer and also that is a type casting problem is created so i that is not any wrong here i can take as a short as a consider is the only uh, ALU arithmetic logic in calculate that uh, sum is perfectly in float. So now let us check third three terms. So yes, see, yeah, that is our perfect answer minus 0 0.33. Yes. So and we can also print the series perfectly our requirement. So look, that is our perfect answer. And that is our answer solved by here. Yes, you can look here, that is a solve. So how we can get, so now I can take as a watch window. So alter, uh, that is a alter W and here is a watch window you have to know, I think. So here we can take as first sum variable and I and J and M just and factorial fact. So, so many variable is there. Just I can take one and that is a remaining. All are well, but the one that is, yes, N is remaining only. And now I can stress this uh, logic. So, press, you have to know very well. So here I can start in directly this for loop. So control F8 I press so red line is appear and now control F9. So that run and two terms we have to take is watch window how to uh, perfectly one is even and odd. So that is a fine bit and our series is even. Yes, so here X is two. So yes, here also we have to take as X but X is fixed too. So we cannot take. So now I can press F7 function key. So here you can look that uh, I is zero. So M is uh, directly uh, that zero. So that uh, fact is one, yes. And while loop consider is false because M is zero, but not equal to. So uh, that is zero factorial is one. So we can already assign the fact is one. So that perfectly no any change is required and J modulo two, but J is one. So directly go in the positive sign bit. Yes, now that perfectly. Look, that is print our series. Yes. Okay. So take alter W and it's a output window. So look that our first term is already printed. Yes. And now our function X, X is two and I is zero. So X that is a one and divide by fact that is a, uh, that i that is a zero upon and fact is one so that is a you can consider as a sum sum is getting the one value so let us check i press f7 function key so yes first term is answer is perfectly look our paperwork means that our solution so first term that answer is one just look here yes. so now that we can take a second term so I directly from zero to two. So that is a even series. So like I is a two, yes, that perfectly. And M is also two. So two factorial is two. So let us check, I press F7 fun function key. Fact is one assign again. M is greater than zero, yes. And M multiply fact uh, two multiply uh, one. So that is a two factorial. And M minus minus, so one, so one, two multiply one. So that is a two factorial is two. So minus minus, so zero. Now while look false, J is two plus plus. So that is a minus, that is even odd logic for only for sign bit. For terms is uh, that is even. So now that is a 
in if condition is true and that is our second term is i think print so look in the output window for second term print x is 2 upon i is 2 and divide 2 factorial so all are 2 so 2 2 is a 4 and divide by 2 so that is minus 2 and that our sum already 1 so that is a minus 1 so you can look our output is perfectly in the uh, watch window and series also perfectly print so you can look that is a two term i can tracing you can also take more terms but uh, here that i only taking two terms and now i can uh, first uh, remove that uh, f9 function key that is tracing and full screen and go the our red line that is control f8 again so that is gone and now i can compile again and run four terms so that is a how to answer we have to not calculate but uh, you can lot uh, all are very small value so that is a zero so that is a very low value is there so let us take i compile that is three term and x2 so that is a yes now problem is a power function overflow so what is a solution of that type some time very small answer and that is a power function sometime taking error so here our power function requires the double yes you can look i give the solution so alter w and look uh, that is a um, in help menu we can take as a power function syntax so you can look that uh, declaration is type in double and we can pass only integer type variable so that is sometime that is overflow so what is solution you can just close the file all and quit this exit to editor and again go that editor just i go and means open the editor and open your file alter f that is open file and that is series uh, number that is our series and i again compile and now that is a overflow that is solution sometimes that taking error so now look that is our perfectly answer so power function sometime getting the overflow error so only that solution is not there so we can come out the editor and that is only one way and but uh, flush function is not using that is not problem of uh, buffer overflow but power function itself is taking overflow so oh, that is a sometime editor creating error so that is the only solution there is now our same program no we have to change any coding but that uh, answer is correct you can look to 0 0.33 three term answer so you can look our solution is here so we have to already paper work so we can sure that is a perfect answer so uh, then and then you can take a paperwork so you can get your logic is perfect and your program is perfectly and now again i run let us check four term so that is a yes minus uh, that previously give the 0, 0.00 but at minus 0, 0.42 that is a correct answer for four term you can calculate paperwork so three term we have to consider but four term that is 0 0.42 minus answer is there so that is a perfectly answer because 6 upon 2 upon 6 and divide by 6 factorial so very small value is there so minus sign yes so i think all are well so our answer is four term uh, perfectly and we can calculate two term and three term so all are well so very important section of your knowledge so that is a even series and positive and negative that is a even odd that is a sign bit so we can also print the series yes here very important for your knowledge you can also print the series in series programming in c language so now write this program to your c notebook if you prepare very interesting and very knowledgeable session of your series programming you can now taking so many series uh, that is you can watch that video and after you can take yourself different type of series you can apply to yourself you can very easily solve that series so i hope you can understand and enjoy this session so now i can close alter f3 function key this file and quit
to subscribe my channel ashok sita like and press the bell icon to never miss any update thanks for your watching supporting and sharing my video lecture and any doubt or any question of about this uh, session or any concept in c language so you can write in comment section i give the definitely to answer you so thanks again and hare krishna